So I'm here on a Thursday evening, just finished the watering, and I'm checking out Daisy's bee garden. And I'm here because I'm looking for a specific type of plant. And here it is. Garlic mustard, also known as Jack by the Hedge. Both the green vein white and the orange tip will lay their eggs on this plant. So as you can see, the colour has changed with the egg. There's a little air bubble at the tip there. And that shows it's going to be emerging very soon. So I have now downloaded a time-lapse app. And I've done a little setup with the hand lens clip onto my phone. Lots of light. And I can leave this app running for a couple of hours. Look who I just found wandering across the kitchen wall. This is OT looking for somewhere to pupate. So they are ready to go. And I'm going to set them up with a little pupation chamber. So not only is OT ready to pupate, we've been able to confirm, thanks to Vince Massimo, that OT is a boy. There's a tiny pale patch under the skin. Around the eighth segment, it's really hard to pick up on the video. But that is the developing gonads of the male orange tip. There we go, we've got OT set up with lots of twigs now. And hopefully one of these will suffice. I think they'll be hunting around for a little bit longer. And I'll be checking on it regularly. So once OT pupated, the chrysalis then changes colour over time, as you can see with the older one on the right hand side. So we won't see the adult butterflies emerge until about mid-April next year, which means they spend most of their life as a cocoon. It's a little bit boring really. I'll have to do an update then.